Yo, what is up guys and gals? I'm back with another Ghostbusters Plasma Series review, obviously, right? And uh, today we're taking a look at Dana Barrett. And uh, yes, uh, she's all dressed up like when she was possessed by Zool. But, uh, so yeah, anyway, she is number five in the Plasma Series line and the build figure is Vince Corto from uh, the Terror Dog. So, definitely... Uh, Dana Barrett does not come with anything else besides a big chunk of the Terror Dog in it. She's a little bit heavier than all the other pa Ghostbusters packaging. But, uh, but yeah, that's a whole lot of Terror Dog here. So that's the main body for for the Terror Dog that, we're, that we get to build a figure of Vince Clorto. So, like I said there, she's number five. I'm going right in order right down the series. Besides, you, you gotta, you gotta build, build a Terror Dog's legs to the head, so, you know, Gozer's the head, so, so, yeah, Gozer's, Gozer's the head, but, uh, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to Gozer here, um, here on the next, next one after this one, but, anywho, let's crack this, this, uh, possessed Dana Barrett, aka Zool, and, uh, crack her out of her, uh, cardboard and plastic prison, so, definitely, I'll catch you guys and gals over at the table. Yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here is Dana Barrett, the possessed Dana Barrett, as Zool in her costume. And uh, yeah, right out of the packaging, she's a very awesome looking figure. Um, you get her, and then you do get like one big huge chunk of the terror dog. That's sort of like a soft rubber tail. <laughs> but you get a whole big chunk of the terror dog. <laughs> So, I'll do an individual video of uh, putting it together. Um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. But, uh, anyway, uh, moving right along. Uh, the packaging is just st still your same typical packaging that you get here with the Plasma Series. And you got Barrett, Plasma Series, same nice little piece of artwork going on there. But, on the back, of course, Dana Barrett is number five in the Build-A-Figure Series to build uh, Terror Dog Vince Clorto. So... So yeah, Dana Barrett. There is no Dana, only Zool. So yeah, <laughs> I knew that was going to be what they're going to put on the back here. I just love it. There is no Dana, only Zool. So yeah, so not much with the packaging. I'm just going to move right along. <coughs> Hairball. But uh, yeah, anyway. There is Dana Barrett in 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 her uh, very nice uh, Zool wardrobe, and uh, a lot of people don't like it right off the bat because this is a completely different piece. Uh, they could have done a little like a uh, uh, a little piece of rubber rubber plastic to expand just a little bit for that, but I can see what they're doing here. But uh, um, if you just leave her arm like that, it just looks all right. But eh. But uh, anywho. Get in there on a nice head sculpt, and there you get a nice possessed Dana Barrett with the red eyes. <laughs> so, so, yeah, very nice. Got her hairdo, she's got some nice articulation for her head. Got the arms go up and down. Um, right here is where the elbow joint you can swivel it too, and it bends. Hand swivel here, and then you can pull them out too. Um, I only reason why I did that because uh, um, you can actually pull those out too for the blast effects for um, uh, the 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 electricity kind of effect that Gozer has. I just wanted to see if that that would actually have the same. You know, does she have underwear? Yes, she does. <laughs> Zul picked out her underwear. <laughs> uh, a reference from a buddy Warg. Uh, he did a. Uh, I'll look at the Dana Barrett figure. So, yeah, she does have underwear. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, she is barefoot. So, she does stand very good on, on the ground. You can get her in a nice pose if you want. And, uh, depends on what flat surface you're on. Uh, flat surface depends on how, how she's sitting. Uh, she can try try to have a nice pose. This is a nice all soft rubber. 
on Dana Barrett. Very nice. So yeah, nothing much going on with her. Um, she does have a little bit of ab crunch. She was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> uh, she moves this. Um, I don't think... Does she have an individual waist swivel? I'm not sure if she does, but all in all, she has really good articulation going on, if you know what I mean. But, uh, so yeah. So there is Dana Barrett, and, uh, and people keep on inviting me on Xbox, starting to really irritate me. But, uh, her hero, Peter Vankman, we'll get him in there. We'll get good old Egon Spangler in there. We'll get Winston Zedmore in here with his blast effect of his proton stream. And Mr. Dan Aykroyd, Ray Stance. So yeah, there's the gang. All four Ghostbusters with Dana Barrett. <coughs> very awesome. Highly recommended right off the bat. <laughs> very cool. Um, very nice with the comparison going on here. So, so yeah. Very nice little shock going on there. So, anywho. So, so like I said though, is like if you have the, like the the Mattel ones that uh, as I here's a size comparison for them. Here's a uh, Ray from the the ones that you got with the the build a figure, uh, build build the no ghost logo with the four Ghostbusters. So yeah, completely different mold. But uh, these guys here are standalone. But they're more like a GB tube because they got the clear tube going on here. But eh. It is what it is on that. But, uh, yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. Not much more going on with Dana Barrett. Um, very nice. Uh, you got the rubber rubber plastic pieces uh, for her dress here going on. Um, very cool. Very nicely detailed. Um, I love how they did the ripples in it. And, uh, yeah, she does have articulation. Got the double knee joint going on there. Swivel with the ankle and you can bring it up that way that's breakage tilt but that's like for whenever you want to try to get her like she's like a big stance or something and uh, you do have posts at the bottom of her feet which is nice like all the other ghostbusters guys does so so you can actually put them in your display stand whatever you want to do with so yeah so there's my quick review of dana barrett the possessed dana barrett as Zool. So yeah, very cool. Highly recommended, ladies and gentlemen. And uh definitely uh uh not much going on with her. She don't come with any accessories or anything. Would have been nice, but again, what could you do guys? What could you do? But uh yeah, so there's my quick review of the possessed Dana Barrett from the new Ghostbusters Plasma series line. And uh very cool. So definitely uh can't wait to uh build the terror dog and see how big that sucker is gonna be. So yeah. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of Dana Barrett, well, Possessed Dana Barrett from the new Ghostbusters Plasma Series line. So, so yeah, definitely check everybody else's links down in the description down below. Like I said, uh, please like, share, and comment, and please subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, and please hit that subscribe button, like literally smash it, yeah, and give it a thumbs up. So, yeah, until next time, guys, it's Trans Air 38 Talk to you, and everybody's links will be down in the description down below. So, until next time, uh, we're going to finish up the rest of these Plasma Series reviews and Gozer the Gozerian is next. So yeah. So until next time guys, this is Trans Air 38 talking again and we ain't afraid of no ghosts.